Hogging. Longitudinal bending stresses could be caused while loading the ship in still water. Hogging is a stress that causes the ship's hull or keel to bend upwards at amidships. Look at the effect when the load concentration is more on the ends of the vessel. The ship structure bend downwards at the end. Sagging. When load concentration is more at the center, the structure tends to bend downwards in the middle. This action is called sagging. The vessel is designed with certain allowable maximum bending moment and shear forces, which are tabulated in approved ship stability booklet. The loading and distribution of weights will be monitored by chief officer of the vessel according to the prescribed limits with the help of loader and stability booklet. He is responsible for minimizing this sag and hog of the vessel. Water pressure. Water pressure act on the sides and bottom of the ship. If the ship's sides are not strengthened, it will tend to bend inwards as shown. Dry dock. When the ship is in a dry dock, a ship's sides are no longer supported by water pressure. The only things holding up the ship are keel blocks, bilge blocks, and side shores. The result is that the sides of the ship tend to bulge outwards and the bottom tends to sag. To counteract dry docking stress, the entire bottom of a ship is strengthened. Localized stress. When a heavy weight is loaded over a small area, or if there is a concentration of weight in a particular area, it causes localized stresses. Localized stress is counteracted by extra strengthening.